Okay, so let's just select all these pieces and we'll unhide everything. And I just want to select the tank there. Do control I and hide select it. Okay, we have a couple of uh, kind of clip uh, type pieces that go up here on the top. Uh, we'll see if we can see those in the blueprints. Uh, you can kind of see it right here. Uh, it's not going to be much help. Um, let's just use it to kind of get an idea of the size. All right, so I'm going to grab another box there and we'll just draw this out over top of this part of the blueprint here. Give it a little bit of height. Okay, and that should be uh, all we need the blueprints for. So we'll just move this piece up. Select these pieces. And we'll hide unselected here. Okay, so it's kind of the same thing with this piece. So I'm not going to worry about actually following the blueprints. I'm just going to kind of wing uh, it because uh, the quality is really bad on the blueprints. So it's not going to be much help to follow them. We'll just kind of uh, make something up here again. Okay, so now we have the size of that. I'm just going to move it over and line it up with the band again. Okay, so just center it there. Okay, and in left view, let's just move this down. Okay, like that. Okay, we'll convert it to double poly. And let's maybe, let's maybe extrude the front out. Okay, so I was gonna extrude that out uh, about 10 or so. It really doesn't matter. We can adjust it by hand. I just wanna get an extra edge there in the center. Okay, so <clears throat> in the back view here, I'm just gonna move these around a bit. Let's grab these two in the front and we're just gonna pull that down. So we have a bit of an angle on this. And I'm also going to grab this one and we'll move that down a little bit more. Okay, we want to kind of just make this sort of look like it fits over the top of the band here. And I'm not really going to worry about it too much. Um, let's just maybe intersect it with the tank. Alright, so we'll move the uh, bottom pairs of verts down a little bit more until it's inside the tank. Okay, and we could probably bring the top verts down a little bit. I'm just gonna grab these four here and just bring it down. And same with these front two here. Let's grab this one and this one. Pull that down a little bit more. And I think we could also make it a little bit th uh, thinner side to side. So let's move that over a little bit more. And we'll do the same on this side. Kind of even it out. Okay, let's pull these center ones down even more. Okay, and I think that shape should work uh, decent. Um, let's grab this uh, pair of bottom verts here. I'm just gonna pull those back up so we have a little bit more of an angle on the front. Okay, we can probably stretch it down a little bit farther as well. So let's grab those and we'll just pull it down a little bit more. Okay, we just want to kind of make it look like that uh, band goes through this piece. And this is obviously a really small detail on the entire truck, so I'm not going to worry about it uh, being too precise. Let's maybe uh, grab that back polygon <clears throat> as well as the front polygon. And we'll do an inset on those. And let's take this up a little bit more. Let's just do about a one actually, and okay. And then we'll turn off polygon there. I'm gonna hit Alt Q to go into isolation mode. And we'll go back into polygon. Okay, let's just delete those two polygons out. We'll also grab the bottom ones as well as that front and back one at the bottom. Delete them as well. And let's just grab these two verts here at the back. And we'll just move those down the uh, left view until they uh, straighten out. Okay, like that, so these edges are straight. Okay, we'll do the same thing over here at the front. Select those two inner verts there. Okay, 
and in the uh, back view, we'll just pull them down so that it uh, straightens out those edges for us. All right, so pretty simple, and we'll just maybe chamfer the edges on this one down. Okay, so I'm gonna grab those uh, two edges there, do a loop, and a chamfer. And let's do maybe about a 0.35 on that. Okay, we'll also maybe chamfer this edge here. So loop that edge and chamfer. All right, let's do that about 0.35 as well. And let's grab that one there and one of these ones here. And we'll just knock these corners off as well. Let's tighten it up a little bit on these ones. Maybe 0.15 or so should be good. And let's also maybe just pull this in a little bit so uh, you don't see through the sides there. Okay, so I'm just gonna select those five edges around the hole. And back in the back view, I'm just gonna hold down shift and just extrude those in a little bit. Okay, like that. So it's just slightly up in the inside. And we'll do the same thing here at the back. Grab the five edges around the hole. Okay, and in the back view, shift drag those in. And let's maybe match the angle of the uh, bottom. No, I don't really like that. Let's maybe match uh, just the top angle. Okay, so it goes straight in and then we'll just pull those bottom verts down until they line up at the bottom edge. Okay, more like that. And we'll give these inner edges here a quick chamfer as well. So we'll grab that one as well as this one here. Loop those and we'll just knock the corners off with the chamfer. And 0.15 is probably fine for that as well. So to okay that, and we'll turn off edge. And that's not exactly awesome, but I think it should be fine for uh, what we need it for here. So we'll just hit uh, exit isolation mode and just see if it looks like it's fitting around this okay. That should be good. So let's maybe just throw a couple of quick bolts on top. Back into the top view, we'll zoom in on this piece again. And let's just grab maybe, um, an oil tank first. So I'm just gonna pull this down to extended primitives and we'll grab an oil tank. And we'll just draw this out here on the top. Okay, it doesn't need to be super huge. Let's get a little bit of height and roll the top over a little bit. Again, we also need to move it up. And so just drag it up and we'll put it right on top of that clip piece. Okay. And obviously that's a little bit too rounded over, so let's uh, adjust some settings here. Take down the cap height a little bit more. Let's do about a one on that. And the height really doesn't matter, we're gonna cut it off anyways. Um, let's add a few extra sides. Let's do maybe 24, so it's a little bit more smooth. And for radius, let's do maybe uh, 2.3. Okay, I think that should be fine for our little rivet. Let's convert it to a pulley, put our blue shader on it as well. And let's go into vertex here. We'll just go into the uh, back view and we'll grab all the bottom verts here and delete them. And then we'll just move this up a little bit more. Okay, and we probably don't need it to be that high. Let's just shorten it up a little bit more and we'll just move it right down. Okay, so it's slightly intersecting that top surface. Okay, we'll also give this edge here a chamfer. Okay, so take that way down. And something like that should be pretty good. So let's see if that looks okay for size. All right, let's also maybe see if we can auto smooth it here. So I'm just gonna drop another smooth modifier on there and hit auto smooth. Okay, and it's a really small detail. I'm not gonna worry about uh, fixing the smoothing there. I don't think you'll even notice. 
Okay, so let's maybe just name this something. Let's call it uh, bolt01. And we'll just figure out where we want to put this. Let's maybe clone it. Shift drag it down on the Y as a copy. And we'll just kind of position these on top here and try to space them apart evenly. Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, that should be fine for this part. So let's control click the clip piece there. And we'll just make a clone of this. So we'll drag that over holding shift to the second band as a copy. And we'll just kind of line it up here. All right, so just kind of even out the uh, spacing here on each side until it looks like it's pretty much even. Okay, that looks uh, probably fine. Okay, so we'll have to make a couple of copies of these bolts and put them around on uh, some of these other pieces. 